Our planet is full of many creatures. From depths of deep sea to the high mountains, we will find at least one living thing. Our scientists have so far discovered about 13 million species of organisms, from invisible bacteria to blue whales weighing a few tons, from grass to large trees. It is estimated to be around 870,000 kind of species. But what is the superpower guiding all living things in a systematic way? What is the reason behind hundreds of millions of people in the world without one being like the other? How tall should a person be? What's the factor behind a person's appearance? How delicious a mango fruit should be? How many vitamins and proteins it should contain? And finally, what color a flower should be and what fragrance should it release? All these factors are determined by DNA. In simple words, this DNA is the secret to life on earth. What exactly is DNA? How does it work? What are the future changes based on this DNA? In this video, we will learn many interesting things about DNA. You will be surprised to learn about a great system runs within our body without us realizing it. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Every human's life begins in the same manner. Two cells, one from the mother and one from the father, becomes one cell together. The cell then divides into two cells, the two into four. This division continues until there are approximately 10 trillion cells. How do all these millions of cells come together to form the shape of a human being? Which cells becomes eyes, hands, brain is determined by DNA which means deoxyribonucleic acid. All the instructions that tells us how to make our body are in this DNA in the form of genes. To put it in simple words, if this DNA is a library, then these genes are books in it. All our body information about what color we should be what blood type we should have, where our head should be placed, how many fingers we should have on our hands. All this information is stored in our DNA in the form of genes. Our DNA contains approximately 20,000 to 40,000 genes. Similarly, every living being contains DNA having data related to their own body. Did you know that genes in DNA of corn are more than in human? Let's see what this DNA actually looks like. In the center of every cell in our body, the DNA is situated in the shape of a twisted ladder. It is made up of four molecules, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. These are simply referred as A, T, G, and C, where A is always paired with T and G is always paired with C. All our genetic information is also stored based on these configurations. In each cell, DNA is in the form of a thread. Did you know that if you pull out DNA from a cell and disassemble it, it's 2 meters long? Think for a second. An invisible cell of a size 0.09 micrometer length consists of a 2 meter length of DNA. This means if we separate the amount of DNA in the 10 trillion cells in our body and connect one end to the other by stretching, it will travel from our Earth to Pluto and back to the Earth. Now let's understand how data is stored in the DNA. As we discussed earlier, any of these three molecules of A, T, G, C together form a word. For example, A, T, C, T, G, A, G, A, C, C, A, G. Here, the three letters are grouped together in such a way that every cell in our body has 300 million letters long data stored. Did you know that 99.9% .9 of all human beings in this world have the same DNA? The remaining 0.1% difference causes many changes in our color, height, shape, and appearance. Also, the DNA in humans is approximately 98% identical to that in gorillas. Another miracle is that human DNA matches 50% of the DNA found in bananas. Now, let's see what type of effect we receive if a change in DNA occurs. As we discussed earlier, this DNA is made up of molecules A, T, G, and C in a sequence. Now, during cell division, DNA in first cell gets copied into second as it is. But due to some occurrence of errors, this sequence gets changed and damages the DNA. Other reasons being effect of UV rays from the sun or due to some chemicals and even when intoxicated or due to smoking, the DNA can be damaged. Our DNA gets damaged approximately 10 million times a day. However, we have a self-repair mechanism in our body which is constantly repairing damaged DNA. Sometimes damaged DNA cannot be repaired. This is called mutation. Damaged DNA may not be dangerous, but sometimes it can lead to cancer. In 1990, the US government wanted to find out the whole sequence of the original human DNA so that man could know the genetic code which led to the start of the Human Genome Project. 
It took 13 years for hundreds of scientists to work together to find the sequence of 300 billion base pairs in the DNA of a human cell. This project has costed approximately $3 billion. Now this can be done for $1000 in just over an hour to read a man's DNA. This shows how fast this sector is growing. All the information about the memories and experience of our ancestors is in our DNA. A recent study found that we may receive effect from our ancestors of 14 generations. That is why some children have similarities with their parents or grandparents and some diseases are hereditary because of the presence of that information in the DNA of their ancestors. We have observed some people acquire arts by birth. From an early age, children are able to draw pictures and excel in mathematical calculations because of the skills that their ancestors possessed and passed on to their children through this DNA. All the information about our ancestors is stored in this DNA. According to one study, about 215 petabytes of data can be stored in 1 gram of DNA, that is 215 million gigabytes. Scientists have already begun saving digital data in DNA. First, the digital data is converted into a binary system and then encoded into four-letter DNA codes A, T, C, and G. The data on the CDs and memory cards we use now can last for a few years. But the data saved in the DNA can be stored for hundreds and thousands of years safely. We now use large servers and data storage centers to save data. But with the technology which stores the data in the DNA, up to 10 billion high definition movies can be fit into the size of a small eraser on the end of a pencil. We can store entire information in this world within a shoebox sized DNA. The days are not too far when all these images and videos will be stored in this DNA. Now our science has taken another step forward with genome editing which is a technology that allows us to edit and design our own DNA as we wish. This is called CRISPR technology. In some families, many diseases are inherited from many generations. In that case, we can remove the diseased part of our DNA to prevent the disease from infecting their children. Let's assume for an instance that father is tall and strong and mother has a good IQ. It is going to be possible to design the DNA of a baby with features of the father and intelligence of the mother. Most of the people in this world die due to old age. So experiments are being done to slow down the aging process and increase the lifespan of human beings. Did you know that jellyfish dies only if they are killed? Otherwise, they will never die by aging. So there are also attempts to combine the DNA from jellyfish with human DNA. However, it is impossible to eliminate death completely. So at least research is being done towards increasing the lifespan of a human. With this CRISPR technology, scientists are trying to cure terrific diseases like cancer and AIDS. Scientists at Kobe University in Japan have already succeeded in blocking spreading of AIDS attacked cells through genome editing. The main purpose of this genetic engineering is to cure diseases, prevent defects in newborn babies, increasing human's lifespan. However, editing this DNA must be done very carefully. Any mistakes can lead to a possibility of unexpected results. Finally, if we think of the ability of this DNA to drive billions of lives existing in a small cell in our body, storing genetic information from many generations, all such complex structures is really a wonder. Okay friends, if you like this video, please like and share it with your dear ones. Subscribe to my channel Ask Me Why for more upcoming interesting videos. Hit the bell icon as well to receive a notification as soon as the video is posted to this channel. Thank you.